the Cal Senior Foundation, um, many people think we're trying to make big league ball players or it's all about the baseball, but it's not. It's just a hook to get in front of kids. Then he could talk about the more valuable life lessons, communication, sportsmanship, teamwork, those sorts of things. The mission of the Cal Senior Senior Foundation is to teach character, development, make kids better people. I think it's great that uh, Cal and Billy and their family are using their good name to help uh, youth that are disadvantaged and teach them the values that made the Rookin successful. Well, the Badges for Baseball program, to me, is what launched us as a national organization. Instead of cops and kids coming together in tough neighborhoods in a negative way, now they're coming together in a good way, in a productive way, in an impactful way. A lot of what's said on the streets is, you know, police are the bad guy. I like to reach out and, you know, show kids that we're human too, and we're actually on their side, and we're not what people on the streets are telling them that we are. I just would have never, ever believed this from when it first started. It was a very local concept. All these wonderful people, not only from Maryland, but from all over the country, They've just taken it and ran with it. It's an incredible organization. It's uh, grown dramatically in the five or six years that I've been involved. On the baseball field, we're not trying to breed big league players. What we're doing is giving the kids an enjoyable day one, but there's awful lot of things you can learn on a baseball field. There's instant leadership that arises out of these kids when they're in a group setting. There is teamwork that just happens on a, on a sport field. There's respect for the guys that are around them that are helping them. Everything comes into play. Is sports the end-all be all? No. It's a pretty good starting spot. Kids are our biggest assets, and if we don't prepare our children to be strong and to be able to think for themselves and to be able to navigate the future, then we have failed as a country. A major thrust we want to continue is this building fields. We think that's an incredible legacy. We'll have by the end of next year 25 fields, and we're looking over the next five years to have 50 fields or more. And my real goal, what's the biggest goal? You know, we're reaching 150,000 kids, we think this year, maybe 300. We want to reach millions of kids. I had the incredible experience of being at the first youth development park that was opened here in Baltimore. And I got to see the kids run on the field. And just as joyful as their faces were when they ran on the field were the faces of the, the folks that were working with them and helping them in their lives and in their journeys. Kids can get involved in anything. We want to give them a productive alternative and certainly teaching baseball and kind of pairing them up with a caring adult. They then can help avoid bad choices like gangs or drugs or those sorts of things that take them down the wrong path. We give them an opportunity to make a productive choice, push them in the direction that's positive, and who knows what can happen. I had the good fortune of spending time with Cal Senior and watched what he did when he helped build a boys and girls club. Watched how he cared about the individual kids. Watched how he put the best things possible forward for individual kids. And with the foundation, we're doing that across the country. You get one kid that you can save and, and, and give him a better life and a better future. How wonderful is that? And now you keep multiplying that. That's what's phenomenal.